Hi guys, my name is Lenny. Welcome to me. I wasn't sure I was going to make this vlog because today was just when you wake up and there's bad news and things like that happening, you just, it would have been a very angry video. So we're going to do this way. I'm going to say what's bothering me in a very quick and efficient way. Uh, we're going to have a little something to say about it. Then I'm going to end on a very positive note because there are positive things happening in the world and I think we need to remember that. First thing I saw when I woke up was um, some comments on a video I made. I made um, a video about Rosie O'Donnell um, asking if Baron Trump was autistic, and I felt like I made it in a very respectful type of way. It blew up and got over 17,000 views, which has never happened to me before. And um, one of my Twitter friends, who's also become a YouTube friend, um, and who always watches my videos even when they're crap, it started getting attacked by somebody and she can handle herself. It's not that she can't, but I don't like that. And so I blocked that person and I'm in the process of deleting some comments because there's respectful disagreeing and then there's attacking people for absolutely no reason and I'm not, I'm not good with that. Then I saw that um, the Russian ambassador was gunned down in Turkey then I saw that people were mowed down in Berlin um, while visiting a Christmas, uh, Christmas village or Christmas, um, what is it, exposition or, or whatever it's called. And um, that was beyond upsetting. I feel that people should be able to leave their houses and have a good time, especially around the holidays and all that kind of stuff without... Um, being hurt or killed. So then that happened and then So I'm on social media and I love you social media But I think I kind of hate you sometimes a little bit too Because I'm reading all this on social media and I like to be informed So I'm not upset that I find out what's going on in the world. That's that's not what upsetting me but then like today the Electoral College voted Trump is you know officially officially um, the President of the United States I didn't expect any different I was kind of hoping but I didn't expect any different um, and then I see World War three trending on Twitter and so the consensus on that hashtag is uh, Obama was supposed to stop World War three but he went on vacation instead uh, thank God Hillary um, isn't president because she would have started World War three Trump is totally invested in starting World War three like what what is wrong with you people like what is wrong with you? Okay, these are not jokes. This is not funny I Respect that everyone has their own opinion um, But I'm sick of seeing all this kind of stuff because I'm kind of solution oriented So I'm like, okay, so we're talking we're talking we're complaining about the world about each of our individual countries About all of these type of things and nobody is offering any type of solution like a real solution like um, a real positive solution not segregating people not um, pushing down certain people to elevate other people because you trample on one person's rights everyone's rights get trampled on that's that's how it works that's how it's always worked solutions that's what's frustrating me is i'm seeing all these things and then nothing is being it seems like it seems like nothing is being done about anything and it's frustrating and naturally when i was reading about um the electoral college and all of that i saw that some people were trying to vote for bernie sanders i'm sure president trump thanks you for being an idiot like really really i don't i don't have the words so really is is really 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 a little frustration thing um millennials was trending on twitter and someone's like yeah maybe trump being president will have will help millennials grow up i'm not a millennial um not a Gen Xer either. I thought I was Generation Y, but then someone said Generation Y was a millennial, and I'm not that, so I don't know. I'm I'm the generation in between the two that just wants everybody to get along and is the peacekeeper. That's that's what I think I am because that seems to be mine and my uh, friends and the like. That's that seems to be our role here. I I don't know, like trying to shake everybody, and and help them understand what's going on. 
So people are getting frustrated about millennials, and I've kind of had enough of it. Like, I don't know what you people are even talking about. I've hired millennials. I've worked with millennials. I've relied on them. Uh, they work very hard. They do what's need to be done. Um, I haven't worked at my job for like a year now, and I still get contacted to see how I'm doing. I mean, usually it's because they need a reference, but it's still nice. It's still nice to be asked, how are you? Um, because we work together and we work very well together and we're of different generations and like really like complaining about people being born into a world that you created and how they're reacting to it is asinine so just stop doing it it's just it's it's I'm annoyed just just I'm annoyed and now I'm done complaining and I wanted to talk about something very positive um the other thing trending on my Twitter was Canada Reads and I feel kind of dumb that I didn't know that this was a thing but Canada Reads is something on the CBC um the Canada Broadcast Company um and it's kind of like a battle of the books so there's all these people making cases for the theme of Canada Reads and what people should be reading and there's this really long list and it's all awesome. I did not read any books this year and I cannot believe it's been an entire year since I read a book because there have been times in my life where I was actually reading two books at the same time and I love to read and so I'm upset with myself that I didn't do that and I just like suddenly want to devour every book that I have around me and um so Canada Reads what a wonderfully positive awesome thing um to do and I'm going to check it out um it's going to start it's going to be just you know March 17th to the 30th I think I'm going to double check um so and I'm going to put the link in the description box below if you want to see what books are on it's like a long list of books that are going to be part of this whole thing and I think that's awesome and do you have something like that where you're from um because I think that'd be fantastic so um and on a final note I want to say the first book I'm actually going to read is a book called The Chronister Cliff um a wonderful YouTuber writer um, named Simone Vandersteeg, um, who hasn't done a YouTube video in a while, but we miss her. Um, definitely like a booktuber, funny um, person, but she wrote a book called The Chronister Cliff, and I bought it months and months and months and months ago, and I haven't read it yet. Not because I don't want to, but it was just that kind of year. So um, that's the first book I'm going to read because I like to support people um, who are smarter than I am and who are doing what they love to do and then I want to purchase the second book which just came out which is Chronister's, Cur Chronister's Curse. So that's the first book I'm going to read. Canada Reads. Are you reading? What are you reading? Um, so yeah that's that's kind of what I wanted to say today and I hope everything gets better. I really do. And I hope we read and we learn and that'll help us get better. And I love your buns so much. Thank you for watching my videos regularly. Um, for those of you who do, even the ones that maybe you don't are not normally your cup of tea. Um, I appreciate it. I really do. And I will see you tomorrow. That was a wet one.